as you can see from the intro of this video, I am going to be going through the Chic Sparrow notebooks that I own that I use. The smallest one I have is this beautiful one right here. This was a VIP order. Um, and this was something that I wanted that I had spoken with Jennifer about. And what we have here is a kind of like what I would call an extra wide, because it is quite wide, an extra wide passport size with um, credit card pockets on the front and the back, plus a really nice deep pocket there, and her wonderful sto sewed in, stitched in pen loop. And of course it has four elastics. So this is the smallest Chic Sparrow I have. And I think it is the smallest Chic Sparrow. It is the Burgundy Mr. Darcy leather. And this leather, even this leather darkens in the sun like the toffee and the others. So there's that, my Chic Sparrow passport. Now I have a ton of pocket size. Um, so let's start with this one since we were talking about burgundy. This is a burgundy Mr. Darcy in the pocket size. Um, or in other words, it holds word notebooks and field note size notebooks. And there's a folder I made for it. And this is in the burgundy and I didn't roll it. I wanted to, it still looks really pretty. This one stays at home. So you can see the difference of lots of sun very little sun. So there's a classic Mr. Darcy in Burgundy. Then this beautiful one right here I used quite a bit. This is a Mr. Darcy in the pocket size as well and it is in the um, toffee color with a riveted pen loop and the stitching. And this is a gorgeous notebook. I love this one. Now, so those are the Mr. Darcy's, and these are the Outlander notebooks. This is the Sojourn Tan, and you can see, again, pocket size, um, and it is a beautiful leather. It's pocket size, stitched, and it has a riveted pen loop. That's, I think, my preferred um, size for this because I love the, um, the, uh, what are these things called? The zipper pouches and there's a beautiful Hanukkah handy folder and yeah, that's a, so that's the Sojourn Tan. This is the Jitney Red and you can see that it is the, just like the other one, it is stitched with a riveted pen loop, and it is the classic, and it has a little marking in it, which I thought was kind of cool. And it's a beautiful leather, beautiful leather. This has a little bit more structure than the Sojourn Tan. And this is the last of the Outlander. It is the um, Cosmopolitan Brown, and this one really reminds me um, of the Midori leather. Oh, there's a, some Peaky Dory design inserts and a Growing Up Goddess insert. And again, you can see it is the classic with a riveted pen loop and the stitching is the Creme Brulee in Black Beauty. And this I got from the um, Orphan Grab Bag sale. And so you can see some differences about it. Um, you can tell it's an older one. Uh, let's see, there's the stamp. But because the elastic comes off of the back and because it has one elastic in it, just one elastic like the traditional Midori does. And it is beautiful. And this is a, a really nice, smooth, smooth piece of the creme brulee black beauty leather i haven't done anything with that i haven't i wasn't sure what i was going to do use this one for um here we have the one and only maverick um that i have from chic sparrow well i have another one coming next week actually 
to. Um, I'm addicted. So this is the Golden Brown, and it is so beautiful. Sorry, I'll try to get rid of the, the glare. All of these lovely golden honey kind of um, streaks and all of that up there. And this one I, is just the classic. Uh, no stitching, no pen loop. I've got some really cool notebooks. These are some of the three rivers. I have a, a ton of these. Um, this is a Peking Dory design. Another field notes. Oh, and this is an old one. This is um, Marsha Bramucci. This is a Marsha Bramucci um, like day on a page that I used for a while. Um, so there's that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful leather. And it's very kind of, you know, masculine kind of looking and it's very elegant. Um, and the last pocket size I have is this gorgeous one. This is the Gemini leather, which they don't make anymore. And I love, I love this leather. Um, I know it's the same as the American Dream. You can see it's darkened from where I was holding it. Now this one I used a lot. This one and the toffee I used almost exclusively from January through April. Um, but this one is one of my favorite notebooks. The, um, and it has a, you can see it has a um, pen loop, riveted pen loop. It has the stitching, and this is that London Fog color. I love the London Fog. And I was so upset that I couldn't get it in a larger size because it was either always sold out or she finally, you know, switched to her, her new spring colors. But this gray is my favorite gray that Jennifer has ever done. It is gorgeous. Um, yeah, so this one is staying in a cloth bag when I'm not using it to help keep this beautiful, beautiful color. So that is my London Fog. Now, I, I do have two personal size notebooks, and these are them. One is a deluxe, and one is a classic. Here, let me get this beautiful pink one out of the way, and my um other one. Okay, so these are both personal, and this one is the first uh, version of the personal size notebook, because when you open it up, first of all, this is the creme brulee in the dark chocolate. It is a gorgeous leather. It feels amazing, and they smell amazing, even to this day. But this was the first... Um, version of her personal where the pockets, both pockets were a, um, what's it called? Secretarial pocket. One here and one here. Eventually she switched to a pocket, a different pocket configuration where you have like, you know, credit card slots on it. But, um, since I don't use this as an everyday carry, I actually don't mind having the, um, secretarial pockets. So I've got just a few notebooks in it. Let's see, this is a Peaky Dory Design notebook that I made. And then I just used some embellishments that I had. Let's see, that's one of the folders from the tutorial that I did. This is a Marsha Bramucci um, digital download. You can see, look at that, May 2015, wow. Um, this is a folder from Angela Dash and Max. And then this is uh, a grid notebook that I made a long time ago with a small, tiny grid, and that's one of those personal inserts. And that's why I don't mind so much that there isn't a credit card spot here because I have these and they work wonderful. Um, oh, and so there you can see the pouch and again, her pen loop, nice pen loop. Um, and so the other personal I have is in the Black Beauty Creme Brulee. And again, you can see that this is the older style because 
that does have a matching riveted pen loop. Ooh, make sure I'm on screen. Um, and it's coming out of the back and there's no stitching. This was before you could get the um, stitching as an add-on. So I put just a couple of little Midori pockets there. And there's an extra pen loop on this dashboard. I think this dashboard also is from Angela Dash and Max. And here's some more of those wonderful Avery, if I can, translucent, you know, post-it notes that you can see through. Um, so there's that. Now I have three more left and they are the narrow size. Well, actually, first I have this too. Oh, I bumped you, my bad. Um, I got two of these this weekend, one for myself and one for the fiance. And they are the um, Butter Rum Mr. Darcy and they are the cup holder. And so these are gonna be perfect. So we're not wasting a lot of paper when we use our reusable cups. So there's that. Now, let's see. So the first one I got, of the narrow size was this one and again you can see it is the um, dark chocolate creme brulee and again you can see it's another older one because the um, elastic is coming out of the back and I've got a Kiki Dory design just a grid notebook in it um so there's that then the second narrow size I got was this and you can see it is a Mr. Darcy in the burgundy. I'm kind of partial to the Mr. Darcy in burgundy and it is a classic and again you can see it's an older one because the stitching or the elastic is coming out of the back. There is no stitching. This thing has been used and abused and it has all of these wrinkles all over it and it has a riveted pen loop and it's still to this day smells amazing and this was when she first came out with the um classic mr darcy because they're for a while i think they were only available in the um deluxe and then eventually they became made in the classic and that i was like i want a classic nero so there's my classic nero and the last chic sparrow i got was this beautiful one this is one of the notebooks I got from her orphan grab bag sale, and I'm trying to open this so you can see it. And it is the, um, what is it, American Dream? And it is in the pink color called Sweet Pea. Um, and this tends to happen sometimes with this leather. But remember, this leather is also the same leather that is the Gemini, except the Gemini is tumbled through a, a dryer, and that's what gives it this texture. And so if you were to wrinkle and roll this, you would up, you would eventually have texture like this. Um, yeah. There you see, these are just some of my beautiful Chic Sparrow notebooks and cup holders so if you okay thank you for watching a video of my chic sparrow notebooks and if you have any questions please leave a comment down below and i will get back to you as soon as i can okay thanks bye bye